Welcome to Birth of Rome, the new HUD game based on the on the Yacht to S series. Birth of Rome uh, has six scenarios that focus on the struggle of Rome as an early republic um, against many of the, the famous and uh, not so famous historical wars. Of course, um, the Punic Wars will be an option, but uh, in today's uh, video, I'm actually going to show you the the third Samnite War, um, or better yet, I'm going to kind of introduce you to the game and and show you using the third Samnite War um, to show you uh, yeah what Birth of Rome looks like. So um, as you as you enter, so the first screen that pops up is uh, basically talks talks a little bit about the war and and what you should do. Um, so you can really obviously read that later on, but um, here is the map. So very a very beautiful map and you can first kind of see the mountains uh, going through the, the center of, of the peninsula here um, and uh, you see different pictures so those are the different forces these are the enemy forces um, here and we have a little bit of information on them not a lot not a lot of information um, as you're going down to um, you'll see that kind of like there's a different um, a darker shade of color and that's because uh, this this area, for instance, cannot be entered in uh, in this scenario. In other words, this area here is not really relevant to um, the third Semite war, so there's no reason for you to go there. Um, of course, the map is is basically uh, Europe and you know what would eventually become the Roman the Roman Empire um, region or region of influence. But um, for for this scenario and Birth of Rome, of course, it is going to focus here on. Uh, the Italian Peninsula, and that's because the the Samnites were really focused mainly here in uh, central Italy. One of the great things about the game is you can have different overlays, so you can using color see who's in control of where. So red, Roman, and uh, just kind of like light light green. Uh, I mean the red. I mean would be the the Samnites. Actually down here, this is um, the Greeks Greeks controlled. Uh, as I already say, greater, greater Greece. Um, yeah, let's take a look at um, Rome and our, our force. I mean, our forces in Rome. We do have a couple, a couple of different armies here. Um, so we have a leader, and then two legions: Legion Three, Legion Four, and some supply wagons. We also have Legion One, Legion Two, and some supply wagons, and a second leader. And then we have um, a legion and uh, a legion in reserve here. So, um, also you can find out a little bit of information about Rome and, and what, its, uh, what its situation is. So it's a size 10 cities, so like a bigger number, and like bigger cities you can guess. And for instance, it also um, is a size 3 fort, so it has a decent sized fort and a certain level of supply. And this kind of information is important as you, you'll be strategizing on, on what town to take or what city to take and what's important to hold. Um, all right, let's move an army. So I'm going to uh, drag uh, this force. I'm just going to drop it on top of, um, of another of an enemy army here, and uh, basically our army will then go down toward this army and attempt to to engage them. Um, Birth of Rome, as as the other AGD games, was our turn-based game. So I I'm going to click on this person here and proceed to the next turn, and then. Uh, Turn in processes my orders um, as well as the AI orders. Okay. So we have a battle and stalemate. Stalemates, and now the battle screen pops up, and there's a couple options here. One thing is you can you can kind of see what kind of uh, forces you have here: Legatus, uh, legions, uh, principes, of course, uh, stati and uh, Terry Terari. Um, so this is before the Marium reform. So it's using the old. Uh, Old Republic um, style of, uh, of fighting, or you could say method. Um, and of course, the the enemy uh, enemy's forces are here, like here's small Samnite infantry, um, for instance. And there are different stats you can even see, uh, which represent in different uh, abilities and, and power. Um, and then when the game, when the turn is over, then you have um, you basically have kind of a, a message box down here that tells you tells you what happened. Um, so for instance, we had a garrison that's mustered on, on day 20, which I, I think it's like because they, uh, 
became besieged, uh, for instance. Um, yeah, so hopefully that um, yeah that gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of taste of the game. So bit, again, kind of like to quickly recap, you've got this beautiful map here. Um, you you have an army as, as well as towns, and you, you can focus your army onto another, or just move them into a, a different a different region. Uh, it's a turn-based game, so then you click on the turn, and uh, it, 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 both sides are processed. Um, and I also will mention that in addition to the AI, you have the option to um, play other people through uh, playing uh, playing through email. So, yeah, this is Birth of Rome by AGUD. Yeah, so this is Birth of Rome by AGUD, and I'll see you next time.